Okay, so now we're here in Marvelous Designer. I'm using Marvelous Designer 2. I don't know if I said Marvelous Designer in the, um, yeah, I did, I did say it in the intro. So when you open up Marvelous Designer, you'll be greeted with this kind of screen. Sometimes it will look like this and you don't have the pattern tools. So if your screen looks like this, right click on the gray spot and click uh, 2D pattern toolbar and that'll give you all the tools you need for making uh, your 2D pattern. So what we need to do is put in our avatar so we can start making clothes for her. So what I'm going to do is go to new, oh no, I'm going to go to file, open, avatar, and I'm going to navigate to my desktop, because that's where it's at, and forget all of that. Oh, I think I just closed my whole desktop. Okay, yeah, I did. Alright, so we're just going to scroll down, and you're going to find uh, where we named it. What did I name it? Uh, cat lady no tail and I'm just gonna hit when uh, you do that you'll see that this box pops up you're gonna press M and then hit OK and our Solarian lady has come in ah! sorry something fell off spider oh god spider okay <laughs> okay sorry I'm sorry I am not redoing this part of the tutorial, okay. Damn spiders. Alright, um <clears throat> sorry. So what we're gonna do now is press new and get rid of the garment. <sighs> there new and uh you see we have an wait, wait, actually give me one second, I need to recompose myself. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't you just hate it when you're working on something and spiders decide to jump on you out of the blue? <laughs> okay. Well, um, so here we are in Marvel Designer, and I'm going to show you how to make a t-shirt because that's always the first thing that you learn when you do Marvel Designer. Once you learn a t-shirt, it's easy to grasp uh, how to do everything else. Um, <laughs> I can't get over a spider jumping on me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so um, I'm going to be talking to you as if you never used Marvelous Designer before. So if you already use Marvelous Designer, you can pretty much skip this part of the tutorial because you already know what to do. It's the same as, you know, every other Marvelous Designer tutorial I've done. Alright, so let's begin. So the controls. You, this, I guess I can explain it. So this is the 3D window. This shows you all the simulation in your avatar. Uh, this is the 2D window. This is where you'll be drafting your patterns and creating the clothes over here uh, to sew on your two, your 3D thing. These are the tool patterns. This is the polygon tool. lets you create uh, patterns with it. As it works with a kind of connect the dots. As you see, you can connect the dots and that creates the pattern. Um, this is the rectangle tool, which allows you to create rectangle patterns or something with ease so you don't have to use the polygon tool and try to make a rectangle um, like that or press escape allow pressing escape allows you to just stop the line so if you were like this and you messed up and you're like oh, I want to start over you just press escape and that gets rid of it uh, the circle pattern tool allows you to create circles uh, the internal tools work just like the regular pattern tools and internal pattern tools except for they're red and they don't exactly follow the um, connect the dot you can create any kind of shape or so inside there and just double click and they'll stop so you don't have to connect them like you did uh, with the external polygon tools the sound this one is the internal rectangle that you create internal rectangles inside your pattern uh, this is the internal circle squam circle that you create internal circles and the fun thing is with internal tools you can actually create the shapes uh, the shapes you made with them can be converted into holes uh, I mean by holes, I mean like you're tearing holes inside the pattern. Um, but as you see, we're creating all these shapes and nothing's happening over here on the 2D window. This is because we don't have this button pressed. This is the sync button. And it allows you to see all the patterns. It syncs up this window with that window and allows the patterns uh, to show up over here. Now, if we were to manipulate the patterns while the sync is on, you'll see that the pattern is reflected over here. If we turn sync off, you'll see that it turns red, and if we were to manipulate the pattern, it doesn't change over here. So if you ever manipulate everything and it's not changing, it's probably because the sync isn't enabled. 
So I'm going to select everything here in this window. Um, just press new and get rid of this stuff. Yeah, out of here. Uh, so like what I said before, I'm pressing sync real quick. You can create inter holes inside of it using the internal tool. So we can just create a circle here and we can right click and it says, no, we need the pattern editing tool. So you click on the pattern, the internal shape and you can press convert to hole and you see you tore a hole inside your pattern. So that's how you make holes and things like that. Um, so what we're going to do in essence with how Marvel's designer work is uh, for the exception of dresses you just grab the polygon shape and you draw polygon tool and you draw the shape of your pattern and you just modify it um, until it looks the way you want it so let's make a t-shirt because I think that's the best way to explain it so I'm going to start here at this fold line. See this line that's going right between your avatar here? That's called the fold line. So I'm going to start at the fold line at the chest and I'm going to create a, a dot here. Uh, that's a, called a point really. So you're going to create a point here and we're going to go up to the shoulder and we're going to start making a sleeve. So we're just going to make it as long as you want the sleeve to be. So I'm just going to make it short sleeve so right there. Then drag it down and then here make the shirt as this part you're making the shirt as long as you want and you're going to meet back up the fold line and you're going to go straight up to the top and connect that dot so we made one half of our t-shirt and then you're going to click on this middle line here at the fold line and then you're going to select right click here is it right click yeah right click and then do unfold and you see we have a t-shirt pattern now to remove like some trouble we're going to remove this middle line that middle dot that got created because we don't need that it's less things to sew and you're going to click on this the pattern and hit copy and paste and because I don't want to dip in the back of my shirt like that I'm going to select this point and I'm going to press delete so now we have a front and a back part of our pattern if you are the kind of person that needs to have everything meticulously labeled and find out what it is, you can actually name these to keep yourself from getting confused. Like, just looking at it, I know this is the front part and this is the back, but if you were making something a little more complex, I guess pieces could get lost. So let's name them so you know what part they are. Uh, what you do is you click on the pattern and then you go to info and you're going to see name and you're going to name this uh, front and then you click on the back part and you change that to back and you're going to right click on a grid here and you're going to select the show pattern name or you can press shift in and it lets you see what you named the pattern so you know which one I'm clicking on this is the front piece this is the back piece alright so with Marvelous Designer 2 I'm not sure if they fixed this with other Marvelous Designers but we're working with 2 it's what I got it's what I use so I'm following along with that um, whatever goes behind the avatar needs to be flipped horizontally if you don't you'll have an invisible back or invisible whatever so you want to make sure that it's flipped so this is the back pattern I'm going to right click on it in the 3d window and I'm going to hit flip horizontally and you see that it's now gray but the white parts on the back so that's what you want so let's move it behind the avatar and you're going to put it right behind her and then a little bit higher so I'm going to do the exact same thing with the front, line it up right here, and now we're going to start sewing. Um, there are a number of sewing tools here, but in reality you're really going to use is the segment sewing and the edit seam lines. Well, I never really learned or mastered free sewing, uh, so just stick with segment sewing and you'll be okay. So we're going to click the segment sewing in the 3D window, and you're going to select the edge. And you'll see that the edge of it is lighting up. That means that you can select it. So you're going to click on it and then drag <clears throat> any edge really and click it to the edge you want to sew together. So we're going to sew the back pieces together like so. And you see these lines that are coming up? This is the seams. These tell Marvelous Designer that grab this edge and that edge and pull it together and you two are going to fuse and be one. So like someone. So you want to always make sure that those lines are nice and straight. 
if you were to click on it and you see that your lines are twisted like this uh, this is telling Marvel's designer bring this edge together bring that edge together and it twist it up right here in the middle and that causes an error in your garment sometimes it works out because that's what the effect some people want but for the most cases you want to make sure that those lines are straight so if you'll find that your lines are twisted you can either press Control Z and undo what you just did or um, you can use the edit seam lines tool uh, right click on the seams here and then just say reverse seam and then it'll straighten it out so that's what I like to do so you're just pretty much right now going to sew all the edges together of course leaving holes in where places need to be uh, like for the arm so you don't want to sew the arm together or else it's going to mess up and you don't want to sew the very bottom of it because that's where your body goes through so underneath the armpit and then we're going to press play and you see we just made a t-shirt for the character. Now if you don't like this triangular um, if you don't like this triangular collar you could uh, click on the what's this thing right here the point and press delete and then you can use this tool right here the curve tool and you can just drag it down and create a rectangular I mean a rectangular a circular collar um, instead of a pointy triangle one so that's what I like to do uh, so we're gonna have a nice rounded collar because I guess most t-shirts do have a rounded collar uh, and you can make it as deep as you want or as shallow as you want I like them to be kinda deep so I, that's where I'm gonna leave it right now um, the same thing same method can be used for making pants I suppose if we make it a t-shirt we might as well make a pair of pants while we're here so what you do is you can just move this pattern aside, get out of the way, um, open up the polygon tool. We're going to start at our center again. I'm actually going to pause the simulation. Okay. So you're going to zoom in to like you can see and we're going to start again at the center line. If you have a hard time making straight lines or so, you can just hold down the shift key and it snaps and activates a guide so you can make straight lines too if you were worried about it. So I'm going to start a little high waisted and go down to just a little bit below the crotch. Um, hold down shift and make a little angle over here. And then you can make the pants as long or as short as you want. So I'm going to make kind of like capris I guess. And you just keep going and make this shape of pants. Hold down shift. Now what you want to do is click on the middle fold line again and then hit unfold and now you want to go in and you want to get rid of this little uh, point here and hit delete. If we didn't get rid of it, when we go to sew you'll have to sew right here and then sew this piece together. So it's like you have to sew two spots just to get the crotch to close. So what you want to do is get rid of the middle point and it just you sew one part of it. You don't have to sew two. I want to make that edge straight so I want to get rid of that as well. So we do the same thing that we did before. Here's the front part of the pattern. Press Control C, Control V, and you got the back part. And the part that goes on the back gets flipped horizontally. And we want to put it back here on the butt. Now you want to make sure that the pants are close to it, but not so close that your butt is going through it like that. So you want to just make it just like that. Um, so now we're going to just sew our parts together like this. Nope. Uh, be like Bianca Del Rio. Not today, Satan. Your lines are not crossing here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to fold this. There we go, nice and folded. So I'm gonna pull the pants up a little bit so they don't ride down. And I'm gonna hit play, and then watch everything simulate together. Now this could be a problem, as you see the pants got overtook the shirt layer. Now that could be good because maybe you want to have your pants, your shirt tucked into your pants or whatever. 
Uh, but in most cases, in this one, I want the shirt to be on the outside and the pants on the inside. So what we can do is click on the two patterns. So you want to click on the front of the shirt, hold down shift, click on the back of the shirt. And then you go to, is it fabric? Yes. Okay, so you want to go to fa the fabric panel and scroll down until you see this part that says layers. And it's currently on zero, so we're going to change it to maybe one. And you see the shirt pops out of the sh from underneath it. And it is now on top. So uh, one more thing we're going to do, do is assign a layer, like a material to this. And I like to do that by just going up to the very top of the fabric panel and changing the color from white to maybe red. And hit OK. And then we can do the same thing with the pants. And do that black my traditional stuff although I forgot now that you know we're the ginkgo something here should be green but red just looks so much better don't you think alright so now you may be wondering so what do I do about my UVs huh how do I unwrap all this crap well this is the UV map for the clothes this is the UV map for your t-shirt and these are the UV maps for your pants so that step is already taken care of so now all we have to do now is just export and bring it into blender so you do file, export, obj, and uh, put on my desktop. I'm going to name this cat lady clothes. Okay. Press M. Then check these two boxes at the bottom. Unified UV coordinates. Um, remove collapsed cloth triangles. And you only want to make sure that cloth shape is selected. I know that this is different in other Marvel's designers, so that's why I said start out with two. And uh, hit cloth shape, and then hit OK. And then that's it. You can actually save this as a project file. You can go to uh, Save As uh, Project. And we're going to name this uh, Cat Lady Yoga Clothes. And you can share this with other people who are actually into Marvel Designer or something like that. The project file is the best way to save stuff. I used to save it as pack, but no, project is the way you save it because it keeps the, uh, what's it called, the model and the clothes and everything ready. So if you were trying to build like a community for clothes and making for, like I just say for a Solarian and Marvel Designer, that's how you would do it. Or if you wanted to ask somebody for help with this, you would pass them the project file um, so that you know that's the way to do it all right so that's it for this let's go over into blender and start rigging this close to our little solarian